Morning. Um, this is Snorkel's TL49J. Um, currently, this is the largest trailer boom that we manufacture. Uh, 49 foot platform height, 55 foot working height. The uh, machine has uh, outrigger, manual outriggers. There is no auto level feature to this. This way, the operator does have complete control over um, the level of the machine, whether that be on flat surface or on uneven terrain. Um, it is an all steel construction machine. There is no aluminum, um, therefore, you don't get that um, bounce out of the aluminum or out of the steel like you do out of the aluminum. The machine itself is live action hydraulics. Everything on this machine is live action. So we have platform and ground controls that are all basically a live valve that you're controlling. You control it proportionally, however far you move the handle, how fast or how uh, quick that function is going to react. Okay. The outriggers, are, like I said, on the machine are manual. There is no um, automatic leveling. So to set the outriggers on this, you do have an enable switch at the ground controls that does have to be activated the whole time. So with everything turned on, as soon as you hit the enable, pump comes on. At that point, you can then grab your control handles and begin setting the outriggers. Once the outriggers have contacted the surface, at this point you do have a bubble level that you can go off of right here to get the um, uh, chassis level from this point. Operate each outrigger individually to level it out. From there, once you have everything set, you do have ground control operation from the ground control panel. Again, you now have an enable switch for boom functions as well. So there are two separate enable switches on the machine. One for outrigger, one for boom functions. Selector switch at the ground control to determine if we are going to stay in a ground or in a platform position. As long as it's in the ground control's position, we cannot do anything from the platform and vice versa. Standard features on the machine include, again, some of the more common um, features such as um, generator function. Um, you do have a gas as a uh, standard option on this machine. This is a DC machine, so it is a 24 volt system with 195 amp hour batteries on it. Um, so there are four 6 volt batteries on this machine. Some of the standard features include um, powered jib, powered rotate, platform rotate, okay, so hydraulically controlled there. Outreach on this machine, once you get everything fully elevated and telescoped all the way out, you're just at 30 feet. Weight on this machine is 4960, so 5,000 pounds.
controls on this machine. We do have a few different uh, bleed downs on this machine compared to some of the others. Basically, you have four ways of getting down on this machine. You have normal operation, which is going to be using your control valves. Uh, the second way is we actually have a hand pump, which is what we're seeing right here. So you can actually hand pump the machine down to open up your counterbalance valves. You also have a bleed down on each cylinder. So there's actually a manual bleed down on the cylinder. And we incorporate an electronic bleed down for both upper and lower controls. So you have the, the option from both in order to do an emergency lowering or an emergency bleed down situation. We are using a Monarch style pump. Um, hydraulic flow is about two gallons a minute at max operation. So um, again, not a high flow situation, not a high flow function. So most of the functions run under slow flow or low flow. Brakes on the machine, we do have the hydraulic surge brake that's attached into the two inch coupler up the front. So again, pretty, pretty common stuff. Absolutely. Set this stuff down. and ready to operate. Operate your enable switch and then from here you use your controls at the ground controls to elevate the machine. 